What's up YouTube? Got another video for you today and today's video is going to be on my issue with vapes. Now, granted I have vaped in the past, though I've never actually made a video um, on the vape that I purchased and I have since gotten rid of that vape just because I personally prefer cigarettes and I'm going to go into um, some of the issues I had with my vape as well as some of the issues I have um, revolving around vapes and the government's uh, involvement with the vaping community and stuff like that. So that's basically what this video is going to be based around. However, of course, we're going to light up one of our Lucky Strike cigarettes. And I also um, have this out here. It's been sitting out here for a little bit. And again, I don't have any cigarettes in it right now because what I'm actually trying to do, and I figure I could just show you guys, is... Where I en engraved my initials, you guys can see um, a little bit of rust there. So what I decided to do is get a damp towel, rip off a little piece of a towel and get it damp and just lay it there. So that way as it dries, it adds just a little layer of surface rust on there just so that way my initials actually stand out a little bit better um, on the cigarette case. Um, cause when I actually first inscribed or, you know, engraved my initials on here, I wasn't using a very sharp nail and it actually didn't really appear on there, like hardly at all. Like you actually had to hold it up in the light to see it. But then I actually found a, um, nail with an extremely, extremely fine tip on it. And I actually was able to etch it into the actual steel of the case instead of just scratching off the nickel plating because... If I had only put my initials on here and just scratched off the nickel plating, well, eventually the nickel plating is going to start wearing off on this case anyway. So, and once that happens, if it starts rusting, you won't um, be able to see my initials anymore. Well, now you will be, even if all the nickel plating winds up wearing off. But anyway, that's enough on the cigarette case. Let's go ahead and get this uh, cigarette lit up. Well, packed and then lit up. And then uh, we can start the video. Yeah, I do not know how to pack cigarettes that well, guys. Not gonna lie. And that is also one thing I hate is when I try packing it. And like, cause sometimes I'll like let go of the cigarette and just let it hit the desk and then fall over. But sometimes the cigarette bounces back and it actually will sometimes wind up landing in the ashtray. But again, um, the only ashtray I have right next to me right here is just the Zippo ashtray. The um, amber one is staying in the shed for the foreseeable future on this channel um, until I either move or what have you. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this lit up. Okay, so my issue that I have with the vapes, and there's actually a couple. Well, first off, um, most all the vapes, at least that I've seen, um, being marketed, period. And I know, like, back in the day, they actually used to have e-cigarettes that looked like um, actual cigarettes, like the Blue um, brand. That was, like, basically the first introduction of a 21st century um, electronic vapor type device. But um, then, of course, a few years later, that's when all this vaping craze and everything like that. Really seemed to explode. And um, even when it first exploded back in like 2013, 2014, 2015, somewhere around there. At that time, I was not a cigarette smoker and I was not a tobacco user. It wasn't until towards the end of 2016, when I was almost turning 16, that I decided, you know what, I think I want to smoke cigarettes. But again, um, my main issue, uh, well, not really my main issue, the first issue that I have is most of them, if not all of them, are made in China. And to me, that's a um, ethical reason um, why 
I won't buy them because of what's going on with the Chinese Communist Party and their crackdown on Christians as well as Muslims and Uyghurs and stuff like that over there. So therefore, I make it a point not to um, spend my money, if I can help it, on anything that's made in China. And plus, if the vape has been made in China, and granted, I actually did buy a Chinese vape. Um, the one that I had was actually, um, I think it was the Novo 2 by Smoke. But the brand name was S-M-O-K. There was no E on the end. It was a Smoke, I think is the, I guess how you pronounce it. I don't really know. And it was the Novo 2. It was like the blue, whatever blue camo weird color that they had. And the reason why I got it was because, well, um, I was actually introduced to that type of vape by my cousin. And he still vapes, by the way. He doesn't really smoke cigarettes. As a matter of fact, I told him once he's 18, if he wants to try um, one of these, um, he can. But uh, he was like, uh, nah. So I was like, all right, to each his own. And again. But again, being made in China, I really don't know, you know, how high quality it is. I don't know, you know, how sanitary the working stations are where they're making shit like that. And all that other type of stuff like that and as well as the ethical part of it again it's just something that we honestly will never know because the chinese communist party is very untruthful about everything that they release um, to the general public so that is why well, one of the reasons why um, I don't vape anymore, and I've since gotten rid of my vape. The second reason is because the buzz it gave me, at first I really enjoyed the buzz, because again, when my cousin first introduced me to it, I was like, he said, you know, okay, you pull like the, the vape into your mouth, don't inhale it, take the vape away from your mouth, then inhale, and then take a second hit after that. And you'll get really, really buzzed, especially if you haven't been exposed to a vape ever before. And it knocked me off my ass. Let me tell you, the buzz was so intense of that thing. It was really enjoyable. But after a while, even the really harsh buzzes that I would get from it, um, there was a side effect of um, ang anxiety. Like for whatever reason, I would get really um, a bunch of anxiety. Like as soon as that nicotine rush hit which I did not like whatsoever. Like, it basically intensified my depression, which I was depressed at the time, and I did not like that. So that's another reason why I quit. And um, another thing, focusing on the buzz, is again the buzz is much more intense um, than a cigarette buzz however the thing that i prefer about cigarettes is just the old school you know having a being able to carry a zippo being able to you know you know light it up you know having a source of fire you know light actually lighting up the cigarette and stuff like that like there's just something enjoyable about that that you lose with a vape in my opinion now granted Again, vaping is great for those who want to actually quit smoking, though at the current time, I don't have any plans on quitting smoking, so. God, these lucky strikes are good, though. And, um... But the other thing, issue with vapes is actually, um, in vapes defense, is um, the government's um, harassment, well really not harassment, it's more of uh, um, not telling the whole story <clears throat> on these vaping related um, incidences with uh, young people having their lungs severely damaged by vapes and stuff like that, and which I went into, I think, on my uh, philosophical, my second philosophical talk on this channel. Um, 
they don't ever tell you the full story, or at least um, they don't tell you in the headlines. They don't say, um, oh, vaping-related incident due to um, black market THC jewel pods. No, they don't say that. They say vaping-related incident um, due to electronic cigarettes because that gets more clicks and more people to read the article. And that's a very dangerous way to be reporting news, but again, in my country at this point, that's how they report all the news. Which is rather unfortunate. But again, um, that's really all that I have to say about vaping. Um, again, it's just not my cup of tea. Um, would I vape in the future? Um, definitely if I was trying to quit smoking. Um, but I would only vape in the event that um, an American company starts making a vape in the United States, which is highly unlikely. Because again, almost every single vape product that is on the market is made in China. Unfortunately. And the thing with these cigarettes is, these are all made in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, which isn't that far from me. In fact, it's again, about a 45 minute drive from where I live, um, where their plant is that they actually make these. So that's really cool. And again, if you're smoking American cigarettes, again, you know it's made in the United States. And especially if you're smoking an unfiltered premium cigarette like Lucky Strikes, you know that it's actually a higher quality tobacco inside the cigarette versus um, whatever they decide to put in the e-juice liquid that you're buying. Granted, I do believe most e-juice liquids are made in the United States, though correct me in the comments if I'm wrong because I don't really know. Because I know like the disposable vapes like Hydes and stuff like that, like a bunch of people that worked at the Peddler with me were all, you know, vaping from uh, disposable Hydes and stuff like that, and those are made with the actual um, e-juice already in the thing so that way when it's done you can just toss it but the thing is is they're made in china and the e-juice is actually being put in the thing in china made in china so to me it's just something i don't want to put my life um in the hands of um, a company that might not be um, doing things in the most ethical manner but again that's just my opinion and actually, one other thing that I don't like about vapes is the potential for actually burning your vape um, device, like a uh, little um, pod thing that you refill. Because if you have a refillable one like the um, Novo 2, um, if you don't actually let it sit and let the stuff saturate into that cotton that's inside of there, you will wind up burning the vape and destroying the um, little device, which happened to me when I bought mine. Granted, I had two. Um, the set came with the vape and then it came with two extra little things. So, um, just because I destroyed one, um, then I messaged my cousin and I was like, yo, um, I don't think I did this right because this thing tastes like burnt plastic <laughs> and I'm not getting much flavor. And he was like, oh yeah, you're supposed to let it, you know, um, sit for a good while before you actually take a hit off of it. But with a cigarette, you don't actually have to wait. You don't have to do anything like that. It's just if you want to smoke the cigarette, just get yourself a lighter, go outside, and smoke you a cigarette. But um, again, I will admit, though, um, when I was vaping, um, I had almost completely stopped smoking cigarettes whatsoever because I was like, well, this is a, uh, you know, after the um, little pod thing is ready, um, once the juices have soaked into the uh, cotton, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, all you have to do is just keep refilling it and make sure you keep it full. Because also, if another bad thing about vapes is if you let them completely run out and you keep hitting on it, after that you're going to burn the cotton in there and then it's going to taste like shit. But anyway guys, that's really all I have for this video. So if you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, anything you do helps. And I'll see you in the next video, which should be tomorrow. And again, with luck, we will have a Pall Mall unfiltered review tomorrow, but I'm not certain, again, because I don't know if they actually ever got those cigarettes in yet. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video.